can't believe this is the first sight I see in the morning. What is going on? It's a, maybe it's a nightmare. Are you levitating? <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, hard at work right now. Are you building the pergola of Correct. my dreams? Correct. Oh, this is exciting. This is a great project. It's tremendously Correct. early in the morning though, isn't it? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> It's almost lunchtime. Yeah. We're uh, ready to start drilling. We have our height set. Oh, Timber's ready. Pergola 101. The Pergola Master. Yes, it'll be, it'll be quite a sight once we're finished. It's going to be really big. Yep. And I, I can assure you that in 500 years, this will be standing up longer than the chateau. Uh, is that a guarantee? No, no, it's, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> so here's the before shot of the terrace. I've been embarrassed about the state of this terrace now for 14 years. So this is it. This is the week I've ordered furniture. The pergola's going up because of Grant. It's all happening. Grant, whilst you're up there, I don't suppose you could rip that wire off the side of the building, could you? Um, I didn't put that in the initial quote. <laughs> What do you think, Purse? Another hour? Oh, I think about another huh. few days. Two days on, the, on that? Yeah, at least two days. But we'll let you know where it's actually going. Might be more than Yeah, look, look what fun you're having. <laughs> Don't fall backwards off the ladder, please, Carl. Redundant wire finally going. As is quite a lot of my plant. <laughs> yeah. I think I might just sit in my window watching men at work all day today. It's very soothing. Very soothing for us too. <laughs> hmm, sounds as though they're getting closer. Yeah, what do you reckon we just cut there and cut there and leave that piece, leave that piece there. Two drill holes, two solid con contact we have over there. Alabama and Australia, a meeting of minds and souls, closely followed by South Africa, overseeing it all. The team we had to bring out for this job. <laughs> Absolutely. Here you go the international dream team. What have you found? Uh, 22 caliber rimfire uh, 22 shell. And it's been fired because there's the hammer hit right there. And you found that on our terrace, in, buried. In this hole. So someone's been shooting at things if, from the terrace. What were they shooting? There's the hammer hit right there where it went yep. off in the day. Wow. They were shooting at attackers from the roof. Or Lapa. Who knows what else we'll find down here. So this is it. This is the first foundation hole of the pergola. Yep. Dug by coal. Is everybody ready for the most exciting night out of all time? Yes. yes. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Allowed out of the asylum. Yay. Yeah, it's rare. Here we go. That's a share plate that I share with myself. I like your thinking. Yeah. And do you want one, Marie? I'll actually let you try some. I would like to try the lemon curd without the pastry. Is it good? <laughs> right, I realise you're on to dessert, but I need to get some chips. Grant, I'm confused. You just had a whole plate of dessert. Um, yeah, this is dessert back home, like uh, having more meat. So Australians have meat and dessert than more meat? Correct. And then? Maybe go back for dessert. <laughs> We've just woken up and I can see that something has changed outside. Oh, this is very exciting. Well, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. How are you? I'm very good. And how are all of you? Very well, thank you. There's a new post that has mushroomed in the night. Uh, we're just getting measurements so we can cut them. Okay, M team, show me how it's done. Okay, ready? Ready. I feel like I should be doing something other than holding a camera. Uh, little bit more. Yep. She'll be right, mate. Yes, not that that worries me at all about the final strength of my pergola. Okay, this is not the most beautiful room in the chateau, but I think this is one of the prettiest sights. Yes, you were going for being one of the prettiest sights in the chateau. Yeah. 
yesterday. <laughs> How's the ironing going? Magnificent. It's already so hot. I don't understand how you're out here wearing overalls, Percy. It's boiling. Every time we stop working, I take it off. Yeah, it's so hot. And I mean, just to tell everybody, it's 38 degrees outside at the moment. You wouldn't know it from Percy's outfit. 38 degrees. Thank you. <laughs> That's why I'm being fed water all the time. Percy, get out of there! Yeah, don't, Percy. No. Make me sound like something's falling down. Look how we told you. Mummy's getting a bit anxious. Because this piece of wood, which is very heavy, is just resting. And Grant is going to try to yeah, we should grab another one. pull it up. It. Yeah, really, everyone stay back. Oh, it's tense. Are you excited? No, no there'll be a funeral. One screw in. Well done, Grant! <laughs> Mummykins, we have new parasols for the summer party. Here they oh. are. And four more chair cushions. Very pretty. Very Indian looking. Very rash. I just want to show you one. Obviously it's taller. Yes, very pretty. You like it? Yes. And we have four Very of them. elegant. Four. Very elegant. Good, I'm glad you like it. All right, well, I'm off for a little stroll now in the sunshine. You two are so sneaky. You put the cross pieces up without calling me. Looks superb. Yes, it does look quite nice now. An unlikely partnership. So you An unlikely new partnership. Yeah. Yes, we don't like the Australians in South Africa. They play cricket and rugby, that's too good. Huh? That's that's 100% level. 100%? It's, it's right inside the bubble with a, a little line inside the bubble that it, it, is, it is perfect. A star, Grant. Yes. High five, Pat, come on. Dream Good. team. I think we need a beer. The minute I had her out of the way, you two were up those ladders like a shot. If she had been here, we would have had three times as much trouble. Because then you've got to listen to her and concentrate on what you're doing. <laughs> oh, she, you realise she's going to see this when I post the vlog. <laughs> You'll be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Is that something new? <laughs> <laughs> Look what they did when your back was turned, Mummy. Oh. They waited till you were distracted. <laughs> I think I didn't even notice it. Uh, oh, wow. Percy said that it takes twice as long when he has to manage you at the same time as trying to manage the wood. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Do you like it, Mummy? Yes, I do. Very much. You don't like to admit it, do you? Well, it's... Um, you ask too much of some people, darling. You love it, though, Dangerous don't you? Jobs, you yes, love it. Yes, I do like it. I, I, I would never have done it, of I know. course. I you would never have bought the chateau, Mummy. Oh, that's true. I would be on a cruise ship right now, probably off the North Atlantic near Greenland. Having a whale of a time. Yes, with literally. The <laughs> she was worried that it was going to fall over. And I assured her, on my life, that it's going to be that tight, that if that chateau falls down, in a hundred years, it'll fall around. <laughs> it'll round your pergola, yeah, which will fall still be standing. The pergola. <laughs> These are the future ruins, the yes. likes of Angkor Wat. Yes. This It'll pergola be... will be in a thousand years' time still There'll standing. People here going, wow! Look at how did they build this? What, what did what technology did they use to do this? <laughs> oh, I'm so proud right now. My first ever attempt at a souffle. I think I can mainly thank my Thermomix for that. But wow, they worked. Mummy, come and look at my souffles. Mummy. I'm proud, I'm like a toddler who's just drawn a picture. Look. Oh my God. <laughs> what? What is this? It's the blue cheese souffles. Are you sure that is what it is? Yes, I'm sure. Oh dear, looks amazing. Thanks. Well done. 
Grant's structure's being put to the test unexpectedly quickly. There's a huge storm coming and I cannot believe how windy it is. I don't like this at all because I heard a big crack and I don't know where it's coming from but I'm worried about that big tree swaying behind the chapel. The poor peahens are as bewildered as me. They're just staying by the kitchen door I think for safety. We weren't expecting Grant's structure to be put to the test quite this soon. Oh it's definitely fingers crossed time because this is one heck of a storm. <laughs> I just got up this morning, so yes, the cross beams. Not only is it still standing, it's grown. Oh, I think my furniture's arriving too. Yeah, I'm going. I saw it. I think it's my furniture. Wow, you two are geniuses. Front. What time did you start this morning? Because it's um, like not even ten, and I hadn't seen any of these before. And, uh, as soon as I heard the first rooster, I thought, oh, that, that's... <laughs> I, I thought it was for me because someone put the rooster right next to my window. Oh, but, it was me. Yeah. I chained it to it. So I thought, oh, that means I better get back to work. <laughs> oh, this is a wonderful sight. The garden furniture is arriving, a moment that I've been waiting for for 14 years. This is that fake rattan, which means that you can leave it out all year round. Because we have some lovely rattan pieces, but... It's a real hassle running outside whenever it rains, so we tend not to bother putting them out. Finally, we'll have an outside space. We're done, time for a beer. Awesome, big celebration then. And the garden furniture's arrived, so I'll be Yay, bringing it I out. Yeah, I can watch someone else do something. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> you can watch me sitting on it, having a cup of tea. Your construction is done. Are you serious? Come and have a look. This is it. Grant has done a magnificent job. Now he's a magnificent man. Finished. Oh, it's superb. It's stunning. So stunning. It's so stunning. Absolutely it's love it. Better than I expected. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. All hail Grant. All hail Grant. Woohoo! Woo Did uh, either of you think it would look like this off a drawing? No. no. I wish Mummy were here so to celebrate. It would be better than expected. She's probably in the chapel. Shall I get her? Well, she's tremendously angry because somebody used her dustpan and brush. Oh, did they? Yes, and that's pushed her right over the edge. Oh, yeah. no. So I don't know if she'll want to I join shall. in. I shall go and placate her and bring her back here. Good luck. I mean, it's a dustpan and brush nightmare situation. He's got her. Let's see if he's managed to sweeten her right up. <laughs> the histrionics. The way I see it, Mummy, it's surely better that somebody used a dustpan and brush at all rather than not. Not in my, not in other people's place. Not Thank your you special much. dustpan. I bought it for my place. Your special plastic dustpan and brush. Probably well, I found, I found my brush and pan in Michael's side. Well, that's it. Now we know, don't we? It'll be Michael. He will it's... come back from Amsterdam, snuck in in the night, pinched the dustpan and brush How and gone back. How is it held? It looks very nice. Better, How is it held? Big screws. And I, you can ask Percy, I jumped off the ladder and done chin up off it, so it held my weight. Are you proud? Yes, I've, uh, it's kind of funny feeling to know that I've added something to a building like this. I know exactly how you feel, feeling that you're doing something, well, sort of at least semi-permanent for, mm. for a building that's gonna be here for hundreds of years. We're just admiring the handiwork from back in the garden. Yeah, it does look, look better from back here. Looks so good. How exciting is this? It's like Christmas! Yes! Oh, all the furniture's going out! Except it's 40 degrees! Where is my mother? She's in the box! <laughs> Mummy? Yes? Would you like to tell me what you're doing in a box? I'm undoing the box. You're undoing the box in the box. Has Percy, oh, Percy yeah, have the you box. seen where your fiancé is? Close the door! <laughs> We found this perfect new bedroom for Mummy. Really? Mummy, you can just stay and I'll bring you a cup of tea. You have a nice restful little time in there. Bye bye. Bye. You've made a den. <laughs> the one place to find some peace and quiet in this chateau. Inside the box. 
Are you having fun in there? What? Are you having fun? Yes, and I found a package. Still too big. Squash more. This is the new cap now. Couples. Couples, Couples therapy. Couples therapy. Yeah. New thing at the long. Couple that unboxes together stays together. Yeah. Oh, it's good. <laughs> it's a pity it's not great. And it's 38 degrees. Well, well, well. Well, I think that I miscalculated getting the garden furniture. My workforce has just come to a standstill. Absolutely, and will remain at a standstill. <laughs> what needs to happen is somebody, which is not me, needs to bring that table over here yes. so that we can put our tricks on Absolutely. it. Oh, is that what needs yes. to happen? Yes. Dinner's ready, you've got to come in. So why isn't it served out here? Why don't we eat here? Well, you can if you want grab it's burger and chips. You can come in, make a burger, and bring it out. How well, about that? That's not bad, is it? Let's do that. We'll consider that. Come in. Mm. Time to see which flowers we have for our summer party. Wow, a butterfly bush is definitely doing its job. So, I, I grabbed this one first. What's happening round the corner of the butterfly bush? <laughs> Fluffy! Is that warm? Who wants to wear this and be called Jon Snow? I think <laughs> you should wear that, Carl, because look at there's the full like fleece. Oh, yeah. Which end was the ass? Yes, <laughs> right. Jon well, Snow. Many of your yeah, put the, it's up to you which side you're very glad about with that one. Jon Snow. Oh, wow. All this time I've hoped for Jon Snow to come to La Land and it's finally happened. And here I am. I am the king of the universe. Oh, you're the king of the north. Of the north, yeah. yes. One Actually, I'm the king of the south. <laughs> whatever. That baldric looks like a rat. And as for poor Clarice, Grant. Is that Clarice? Yeah, do you think you should have gone to Specsavers? <laughs> we should get you doing a poodle next, Grant. I said to Cole, I'm going to leave a little bit more on, but I might actually hold her down because she was a little bit fretting. She's going to film me have a heart attack on the TV. You are doing such an amazing job, Grant. They're not pleased with you, Grant. I'll, I'll say that for them. That's a death stare from six sheep at once. Ask Cole what Aloysius just did to me. What did he do? Just rammed him right in the kneecap. Yeah, <laughs> asking for retribution. They should be happy and pleased with me. <laughs> they should be so happy. They should be thanking you. This was done for you, you silly sheep. Now there's only the mighty Aloysius left to go. Oh, nice catch. He's actually all talk as well. All talk and no trousers. Does anyone else need a haircut while I'm at it? I'm okay. Because it'll, it'll look like I me was. when we're done. <laughs> Not as easy as it looks. I could leave him a little, like a little mohawk. Tell <laughs> <laughs> them right. Oh! How the mighty Aloysius has fallen. Oh, he looks a little bit ashamed. He won't be able to get a lady for about a year. <laughs> You're just showing off now. First you build a pergola, then you shear some sheep. Just uh, all your uh, British fans. I'm happily married, but there's plenty of us in Australia. <laughs> <laughs>